To deploy an Azure Resource Manager template, also called ARM templates, first you must create a properly formatted JSON file. If you already have a resource group that you'd like to use to duplicate, such as the one I have here with only one storage account in it, you can go to the Automation Script Blade and copy the JSON that Azure produces for you. Here's an ARM template that we're going to deploy. It creates a single storage account, and also note that the storage account name parameter exists here. We can use this when deploying the ARM template. I'm going to create a new resource group just for this deployment. You can use an existing one if you like, but here I'm creating a resource group named New ARM Group. With the resource group available, we're going to deploy the ARM template. The command for that in PowerShell is New Azure RM Resource Group Deployment. I've given the deployment a name and the name of the resource group that the template will be deployed into. We give it the path to the ARM template file we have locally by using that template file parameter. The template parameter object is one way to specify additional parameter values for the ARM template. It's not required though. The deployment of the ARM template may take a few moments, and when it returns, you will see information about the deployment, such as if it succeeded or not. You can also see logs for that ARM template deployment. First, you need to use the get Azure RM resource group deployment command, giving it the name of the deployment and the resource group that it deployed into. We're going to use the correlation ID from that deployment. Once you have the correlation ID from that deployment, you can call get Azure RM log and specify the deployment's correlation ID. This will give you the logs just for that deployment. Going back to the Azure portal, we can see that we have the new resource group created and the storage account that was part of that ARM template. 